Valve may finally be realizing the dream. The dream of destroying everyone's favorite part of PC gaming, Windows. We might soon be able to leave Microsoft behind and turn any PC into a game console with all the benefits of PC gaming. Recent developments suggest that Valve is close to opening SteamOS 3 to the public. The new Powered by SteamOS branding guidelines for third-party devices suggest that Valve is gearing up to make its Linux-based OS more widely available. SteamOS 3, which powers the wildly popular Steam Deck, has been nothing short of revolutionary for gaming on Linux. As someone who has long been frustrated with Windows, I am thrilled at the prospect of saying goodbye to Microsoft's clunky ecosystem and installing SteamOS 3 on my own gaming PC. It's essentially living inside Steam Big Picture mode, and that's the only place I want to be. But let's back up a little. Before we talk about the future, let's take a look at where SteamOS started. The first two iterations of the operating system were tied to Valve's Steam Machine project, which launched back in 2015. The idea was bold, create a series of pre-built gaming PCs running Linux to compete with consoles like the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. It didn't work out. Steam machines were plagued by limited game support and poor optimization. So it was essentially saying, hey, would you like to bypass Windows and be able to play less games? Individual developers had to port their game over to Linux, which had a much smaller install base than Windows. There was very little incentive to port your game over, so not many games got ported. Hardware fragmentation and inconsistent performance across the different Steam machines didn't help. Ultimately, the project flopped. By 2018, Valve quietly removed the Steam Machine section from its website, and the future of SteamOS seemed uncertain. But Valve wasn't done. Fast forward to 2022, and SteamOS made a triumphant return as the backbone of the Steam Deck. Powered by Arc Linux and leveraging Proton, SteamOS 3 is a game changer. It's capable of running thousands of Windows games seamlessly, opening up the entire Steam library to Linux users for the first time. This iteration of SteamOS isn't just about gaming, though. It's a polished, flexible OS that combines the stability of Linux with the convenience of a console-like interface. Again, all the benefits of console and PC gaming. And while they haven't thrown the doors open to everyone to install it on their own devices, Yet, Valve has already hinted at plans to bring SteamOS 3 to other handheld PCs like the Asus ROG Ally as part of its long-term vision. I'm pretty sure you can still download the previous versions of SteamOS, but they still have the same problems that led to the failure of the Steam machines. Proton is what makes the difference, and if you're wondering what that is, it's essentially a compatibility layer that uses something called Wine and Vulkan that translate Windows APIs, making it possible to play Windows-exclusive games on Linux. It's what's opened up nearly the entire PC gaming library to run on it. If you're familiar at all with Apple's transition to ARM, it's essentially Rosetta. And I don't want to pretend to know all about Linux. This is, this is mostly just stuff that I've looked up for this video. But SteamOS 3 also benefits from the flexibility of Arc Linux, unlike previous versions which were based on Deb Debian. Debian. This new foundation allows for more frequent updates and better hardware compatibility. Whether you're running an AMD GPU or an NVIDIA RTX card, SteamOS is built to handle it. NVIDIA especially has a long history of not having good drivers on Linux. The interface would essentially be exactly what you see on the Steam Deck today, which I think is a really good thing. I, I love that interface. So where do we go from here? The introduction of Powered by SteamOS branding is a clear sign that they're looking to expand. By encouraging manufacturers to bundle SteamOS with their hardware, Valve is positioning itself as a serious alternative to Windows on gaming PCs. Powered by SteamOS is mostly for hardware manufacturers, but if it's open to all hardware manufacturers, it's probably going to be available for everyone to just install on their own machines, replace Windows. Valve hasn't said much about the specifics, but the momentum is undeniable. With more manufacturers adopting Linux-based solutions and Valve's ongoing support for the Steam Deck, it feels like only a matter of time before SteamOS 3 can be installed in your computer. For a lot of PC gamers, including myself, it's not so much that SteamOS would be so incredible in and of itself, but I want to leave Windows behind so badly. 
Imagine an OS that's lightweight, free from bloatware, and optimized specifically for gaming. No more dealing with forced Windows updates, no more ads, and no co-pilot being shoved down your throat. For me, most of my PC gaming is streamed to other devices through the Steam Link app. I stream to my TV, I stream to my phone, and nothing is more fun than being away from the computer. And here comes a pop-up from Microsoft Teams! Windows loves finding ways to interrupt. Sometimes I have to drag myself off the couch and move across the room, but sometimes I'm not even home, and that alone makes me excited to install SteamOS, at least as a dual boot option. SteamOS 3 represents a shift in how we think about PC gaming. It's not just about playing games, it's about giving gamers more control over their systems. And the Linux community is a validation of everything they've been working on for decades. I say Valve is close to realizing the dream. This is their dream. They have wanted this for so long, and the failure of the Steam machines was kind of brutal to watch. And so seeing this finally come to fruition, it's beautiful. They haven't officially announced the public release of SteamOS 3, but the signs are there. The Steam Deck's success proves that Linux gaming is viable, and the Powered by SteamOS branding is a strong hint that we'll see more third-party devices adopting this OS. As for me, I just can't wait to see it. But what do you think? Would you switch to SteamOS 3 if it became available? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.